If I gave you a blank piece of paper and asked you to write down all the requirements you have for your next family vehicle, you would probably end up describing what the rest of the world knows as the 2020 Volvo V60 Cross Country. It is essentially a V60 wagon raised up with more than 8 inches of ground clearance, thicker tires, plastic rugged fender flares, and standard all-wheel drive. In other words, it is the wagon perfected for countries like Canada. It's been built and fine-tuned to withstand all weather and all terrain while carrying the most important cargo, you and your family. Special mention to Volvo's safety ratings, which are second to none. The V60 Cross Country is definitely a very good-looking car, with the optional headlights featuring Thor's hammer, sleek body lines and the rear taillights that are pretty tall and kind of reference the older XC70. All cross-country models are all-wheel drive because if they weren't, what the hell would be the point, right? Under the hood, you get a 2.0-liter four-cylinder turbocharged gasoline engine that makes 250 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque, or 350 newton meters for our European friends. It's mated to a good eight-speed automatic transmission, and it can hit 100 kilometers an hour from a standstill in just over seven seconds. You do not get paddle shifters, but seriously, would you use them? Performance is overall pretty good. I mean, it's more than adequate for what this thing is. This one also has the Polestar engineered tune, which means it probably makes a little bit more power. It shifts a bit quicker. On a cold day, when you fire up the engine, it does sound a little bit harsh and knocky, but that really quickly goes away once you start going. So not really a problem. It's pretty decent on gas too. My week is coming to a close and my average is just a pinch over 10 liters per 100 kilometers. Keep in mind, it does require premium gas. The interior is nice and simple. In this trim, there are no extremely special materials like open poor wood and stuff like that. The seats are leather, but it, they're not a fantastic leather. I've seen the fabric trims and they look fantastic. So there's $1,500 you can save off the price. The build quality is really good. Fit and finish is great. And there are plenty of squishy materials around the cabin. Ergonomically, it's another census-driven Volvo, which means that everything happens in this vertical touchscreen right in the middle. You do get Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You get good cameras. Volvo reliability. Hmm. And a very friendly, usable interface for the rest of the features and settings. You can also pick to have the excellent pilot assist system, which almost drives for you on the highway. Once on the move, you'll quickly realize that road noise is very well suppressed and wind noise, even on a really windy day like today, it's not that bad. All that, together with the suspension with the extra travel and the really soft settings, this thing is a really nice long distance cruiser. I mean, it makes total sense to shove your family in here and just go. Now, if you're a really big guy, roominess in the front might be a bit tight. I mean, for me, I'm 5'11", a little bit chubby. It fits snugly. I mean, I'm not cramped by all means, but I'm not really comfortable either. Like everything is a good fit, like arms, everything is okay. If you're a bigger guy, you might find it a bit tight up here. Roominess in the back though is pretty good. Headroom is more than adequate and legroom is kind of generous. The seats are also heated, which is always a bonus. The trunk is wicked. You can kick open the power tailgate and then literally you could jump inside the very large 529 liter trunk. You can spend over $3,000 to get the Bang & Olufsen sound system for here, but the best bang for the buck is the Harman Kardon that's fitted right here. And it's much, much cheaper. On the road again, the V60 Cross Country is smooth and relaxed. The steering is a bit numb, but well-weighted. All switch gear feels good. The brake pedal is nice and firm. The brakes work pretty well. But when you try to turn at speed, you're quickly reminded that this is not a sports car. Obviously, it leans less than an SUV, but more than the regular wagon. The increased travel for the suspension works well in tough terrain, but it does allow the car to lean and transfer weight while cornering. However, that's not necessarily a bad thing because by allowing this weight shifting to happen, you very quickly realize when you're approaching the limits and when you're not. Overall, the 2020 Volvo V60 T5 all-wheel drive cross country isn't the car you really want, but it 100% is the car you definitely need. Need for the family, that is. Prices start at $48,900, and as tested, this one is just over $61,000. Overall score is 8.5 out of 10, as it really fits the glove of the Canadian auto market. Before we go, subscribe, 
Press like if you like this video. Share it with your friends. Write a comment. Let us know your thoughts. Till next time, stay safe, be well, and see you later. Perfect.